एस चांद प्रेजेंट्स एजुकेशनल वीडियो लेक्चर्स एस पर दी ए आई सी टी ई कारिकुलम डिफिकल्ट कॉन्सेप्ट मेड इजी स्टडी एनी वेयर एनी टाइम we discussing lorentz series expansion of any function and then uh, we will also discuss about the singularities different type of singularities hi i am dr neelam from department of applied mathematics delhi technological university delhi for more detail of the subject you can refer to the book from s chand publishing details of which is given here and link is given in the description box so let us start with the lorentz series first so lorentz series can be understood as an expansion of taylor series so lorentz series expansion of any function so for this we say that suppose two concentric circles are there this is c1 and this is c2 since they are concentric therefore they let us let me say that they are concentric at z equals to z not so that is the center for both the circles is z not so we say that if if z is any complex function which is analytic in the region between two concentric circles between two concentric circles and the annulus between them and the annulus between them so this is the annulus between them that's one so if we take any curve in this annulus and let me call it as this uh, gamma then the function fz can be expanded by lorentz series and the lorentz series expansion can be written as an z minus z not raised to the power n n is from 0 to infinity and plus b n over z minus z not raised to the power n and where n is varying from 1 to infinity remember here in the first part n will start from 0 and in the second part n will start from 1 the expanded form can be written as a not plus a1 z minus z not and so on so forth and plus b1 over z minus z not plus b2 z minus z not square and so on so this is called the lorentz series expansion of the function fz now this portion this portion we we uh, can see that they are having the positive parts non negative parts of z minus z not so this portion is having non negative parts non negative parts and this portion is having negative parts of z minus z not so it consists of both the non negative and negative parts of z minus z not now this portion is called um, this uh, since uh, this is the non negative parts of z minus z not therefore we can compare it with the polynomial so this uh, this will be the uh, analytic portion this will be the analytic part analytic part of the of fz this will be the analytic part uh, of the expansion analytic part of the expansion of the lorentz series expansion lorentz series expansion and the portion which has a negative parts of z minus z not is called the principal part this is called the principal part principal part of the lorentz series expansion fz so it consists of both the parts uh, this is the analytic part and this is the principal part now we can see that if 
principal part is zero, then we will be left with only analytic part. And in that case, when principal part is zero for any Lorentz series expansion of any function, then we say that Lorentz series conver gets converted into the Taylor series expansion. We can we have already done Taylor series expansion in the previous videos. So you can refer to those videos for Taylor series expansion. So when this principal part becomes zero, that is the negative parts of z minus z naught becomes zero, then the Lorentz series expansion gets converted into the Taylor series expansion. Here in this expansion, we can see that this a0, a1, an and b1, b2, bn, they are unknown. So, we need to find out the value of these constants. So, this an will be, it can be found out as an is 1 over 2 pi i. This integration will be taken over this c, fz star, z star minus z raised to the power n plus 1 dz and b n will be 1 over 2 pi i integration will be taken over c and f z star z star minus z naught this is z naught z naught raised to the power n minus 1 into dz. So, uh, z star has been taken only just to make the differentiation. This is of course the uh, integration will be taken with respect to z. So, that is how the um, coefficient for uh, an and bn will be calculated. Now, if we com try to combine these terms, now let us say that if bn is a of minus n, let us combine these two terms. So, then the Taylor series expansion of any function fz which is analytic uh, inside the region of the two concentric circle and the annulus between them can be written as sigma n is from minus infinity to infinity a n z minus z naught raised to the power n. So, when uh, the negative values of n will be giving us the principal part and the positive value of n will be giving us the analytic part and the uh, formula for a n we have already given. So, that is how uh, we will be uh, finding out the Lorentz series expansion of any function f z. Now, this this term which is the uh, principal part of this um, uh, Lorentz series expansion will give rise to some uh, important properties. So, we will study about the singularities. So, first let us try to understand what do we mean by the singularity. So, any point any point z equals to z naught is said to be is said to be a singularity of fz if fz ceases to be analytic ceases to be analytic at z equals to z naught that is, if the function is not analytic at z equals to z naught, it will be called as a singularity. Then there will be type of singularity. So, first one is isolated singularity. So, if any singularity is there at z equals to z naught, but the, in the neighborhood of this z equals to z naught, there is no other singularity, then it is called as a isolated singularity. And when it is isolated singularity, then the next step is isolated essential singularity that we can find out using the expansion of the Lorentz series expansion. So, if the principal part of the Lorentz series expansion consists of infinitely many terms that will be called as isolated essential singularity. So, uh, we can say that, that if the principal part If the principal part consists of infinitely many terms, infinitely many terms, then it is said to have, it is said to have isolated essential singularity. 
essential similarity at z equals to z naught. So if it has infinitely many terms, then it is said to have isolated essential singularity. Now, if it has finitely many terms, so if the principal part, if the principal part has finitely many terms, finitely many terms, then it will be written as uh, the principal part will be written as b1 over z minus z0 and let us say that it consists of m number of parts. So it is b2 over z minus z0 raised to the power 2 and plus so on and so forth bm z minus z0 raised to the power m and bm is not 0 of course bm cannot be 0. If it is going to have uh, this uh, expansion then we will say that fz has fz has pole of order m pole of order m at z equals to z naught so if it has finitely many terms then this will be called as to have a pole of order m at z equals to z naught suppose some function has some function fz has only one term say b1 over z minus 1 then it will be having a pole of first order at z equals to 1. So that is how the order of the pole will be decided. So there will be three kind of singularity. First we will find out whether it is a singularity or not. If it is then we will uh, find out whether it is isolated singularity or isolated essential singularity or if it is a pole. So if the principal part has infinitely many terms, it, will, it is going to have isolated essential singularity and if it has finitely many terms, then it is going to have a pole of order m where m will be the order of this, the power of this z minus z naught, that is the number of terms it has. Now suppose we have function like z minus 2 plus 2 over z minus 2 square and plus 3 over z minus 2 cube. Suppose we have this kind of term. Then what we will say that it has a pole at z equals to 2 of order 3. Clear? So it has a pole at z equals to 2 of order 3. So that is how the singularities will be decided. So, in this part of the video, we have learned how to expand a function using uh, Lorentz series expansion and then we have learned about the singularities, isolated singularity, isolated essential singularity and most important singularity is pole which we will be discussing in later videos that how to use pole for finding out residues. We will be taking few examples for Lorentz series expansion in the second part of the video. For more detail of the subject, you can refer to the book from Eschan Publishing, details of which is given here and link is given in the description box. I am sure you must have liked the video. Please do like, share and subscribe and press the bell icon for notification for upcoming videos. Thank you very much. All rights reserved. This video has been prepared for educational purposes only. No part of it may be reproduced or copied without the permission of the copyright holder.